protecting your privacy online. It can seem so hard these days. Tech and advertising companies, of course, collecting information about us as we browse. But what are the limits, especially when it comes to children? For decades, data privacy regulations have been a loosely enforced patchwork of laws. But now, for the first time, Congress is trying to advance comprehensive national regulations. Here's our Devin Dwyer with what it could mean for you and your family. Those are really nice pictures. Digital privacy advocate Jolena Quaresma is a single mom who, like millions of American parents, worries about her teenage daughter online. So after 24 hours, it's gone, right? Yeah. About how technology firms are tracking her and enticing her with targeted content. When I look at my screen time, it's a little bit like, wow, that's time that I could have been, you know, doing something else. Are you aware that, that, that these companies are picking up on where you're going and what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, I mean, definitely. I mean, I think one time I looked up like the word it for like whatever and I started getting horror movie ads and I was so freaked out. Like he just could not take it. Data collection and targeted advertising are at the heart of how the Internet functions and how we experience it. But there's no comprehensive national standard for what companies can and cannot do. For years, sites like Facebook and Google have used third party tracking technology that trails a user and builds a profile about their interests. Marketers then use that information to create targeted ads and promote content to keep users engaged. They're just collecting so much data on our kids. I mean, for one ad tech company, they will have collected over 70 million data points by the time a child is 13. She's 15 now. I don't even know where they're at. 70 million. Over 70 million. The more information you have on kids, the more you can do these hyper fine-tuned algorithms, the more you can pull them towards more extreme ideas. Francis Haugen is a former Facebook insider and whistleblower who says the profiling of young users can be harmful and given the explosion of apps and time spent on devices is increasingly dangerous. Federal law requires websites to seek parental consent before they collect data on children under 13, but only if they have actual knowledge of a user's age. Congress hasn't updated the law in more than a decade, even as technologies have rapidly evolved. Privacy has serious consequences when it comes to kids, and I think it's we're, we're long past due in terms of updating those laws. I'm a mom of uh, three young kids. Uh, this is very much is on my, my heart every day as we're battling how much screen time in our household. Republican and Kathy McMorris-Rogers and Democrat Frank Pallone, who lead the House Energy and Commerce Committee, say they're advancing a historic plan to improve online privacy and better protect children and teens. And what makes it so urgent at this moment. I just think that the, uh, the situation has gotten completely out of hand. More screen time, more time online. That's been the goal, is just to keep us on our phones as much as possible. And for our kids, it's been, a, it's been especially harmful. The biggest problem right now, to me, is that there, there is no national standard. You can opt in or opt out, whatever. Uh, but people don't really understand that. The American Data Privacy and Protection Act would for the first time set a national standard, limiting data collection to only what's necessary for a company to maintain its service, creating a right to know what information has been collected about you and a right to sue if your privacy has been abused. It's going to empower the, the individual to have control over the, the data that's being collected and used and, and stored, but also then potentially sold. And most significant yeah. for parents, oh they God. say. Are you kidding me? Of course I follow her. The law would ban collection of sensitive data on children under 17 and end targeted advertising to anyone a company could reasonably assume to be a minor. If they could pass legislation where um, it gives everyone privacy, comprehensive federal privacy, that would be great. Social media and technology companies say they're on board, but only so long as a new law applies equally across the board. There are 15 different carve-outs and exceptions. What that means in practice is data privacy will mean one thing in one state and a different thing in another state. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce also warns sharply curbing data collection will wreak havoc on the economy. We're really concerned that businesses, especially small businesses, won't be able to use data and digital advertising to reach customers. Uh, we had one small business tell us that if they lose the ability to do that, 
It's like another pandemic. The House bill has support from a top Senate Republican, but a key Senate Democrat who heads the committee overseeing privacy legislation is not yet on board. Neither is outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi of California. The House will be in order. Who worries a national law could override California's state privacy protections that took effect earlier this year. A Pelosi spokesman telling ABC News, unfortunately, changes are still needed to preserve states' ability to keep pace with rapidly changing technologies and platforms and to guarantee the same essential consumer protections in California's existing privacy laws. We have no idea who these people are. You're not doing that, right? No, mine okay. is just set to my friends. All right. Coresma, who works for a nonprofit backing the bill, says a compromise is desperately needed. I'm a single mom, and I, <laughs> I love the fact that everything I'm doing is in an effort to make her life better. If we don't do it, then this continues, and maybe people will start to think, well, there is no privacy, and nobody's ever going to protect me, and the government can't do anything about it. The government can do something about it, and that's why we're doing this bill, with Democrats and Republicans coming together. Optimistic it'll pass? Yes. It will be interesting to see how that plays out. Our thanks to Devin Dwyer. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.